welcome back to arc tutorials this is the last episode in this particular series of express.js and mysql CRUD tutorial for beginners today I'm, i'll be demoing whatever we have built so far in this last seven parts and also i will share you how you can get the source code of this entire tutorial that being said let's get started if you are new on this particular episode you have missed the entire series but the good news is all the links are there in the description box below make sure that you go and check out the entire series so that you can learn and master entire CRUD series on Express.js with MySQL uh, in this episode like I said I'll be demoing the entire application for you that we built and I'll give you how you can access the source code let's get started alright so let's get started first I'll be in the source code I am in my project folder and I will go into the folder structure once I'm inside there, all the coding that we did is in the index.js file that you can see. So I'm going to show you the demo first and then give you the access to source code. So I've started my server. My database is connected. Let me quickly show you the database right now. So if you look, we have a database uh, called issues and we have a table by the name tickets. So right now it's all empty because I'm going to show you from scratch how to run this particular source code and learn. First, we are going to do the post method. So I'll select post and the URL we built is tickets. It takes three fields basically. That is the title of the ticket. Let's say your series and then the description that goes with it. ticket and finally whether the ticket is active or not so it's 0 or 1 boolean value so once you have the data raw data that it's in JSON format we are sending it to the API endpoint that we created as part of the create functionality and it's returning back with the details that it has successfully added let's quickly verify that in the database also click on browse and we will see that record getting inserted I'll insert one more record just to make sure that JSON MySQL series. Okay, and it's active ticket. So I'll say it's now giving me an ID 3. That means it got inserted here. Now let's, this was about the insertion that is create functionality. Now if you want to read, right, so let's say for the read we will be using the get method and let's say I want to read the ticket with the ID 2 and hit send and I get the record so you don't need this in the body when you are doing a get you just hit send and it gives you the record of ID which is 2 that is the get functionality same way we can do put for update for that again we would create our JSON object updating second record description updating the description of the ticket and active I'll make it zero that means it's no more active so I'll hit send and I get the data back which says description is updated the ticket is updated you can verify the same in the database you can see here active is 0 and it updated the record last functionality that we have is the delete so delete again will take the URL param so we will make it delete tickets slash ID of the record that we want to delete so I'm sending to and hit send it says successfully deleted the ticket verify that in the database so our record is deleted that's the entire CRUD functionality that we developed as part of uh, this particular series again you can go through the code everything and you can see that we built uh, a lot of things around that around validation if it's found if it's not found no matching records found etc like for example if in this case the use case is if you are trying to get a ticket which is not available so if you do a get and pass some random value which is not there 
it will come back and say no matching tickets found right so all of that we have implemented as part of our CRUD application now how do you get the source code you can go to the github link of our tutorials and you can check out the uh, repo which is expressjs hyphen mysql hyphen crud here i have given all the details and the entire source code is checked in here also if you see i have come i have documented everything with the tutorial playlist as well as the steps of how you can clone this repo how to set up and how to get started i hope you will learn from it i hope you will uh, become better after this series and if you have any doubts any queries at any given point of time i'm right here to help you always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you <coughs> thank you so much for joining in this series i hope um, as i conclude this series the takeaway is that we have implemented this particular series and you will learn from it i wish you good luck and all the best thank you so much for joining in this series we'll continue our learning in other series thank you